By now, we've all seen renderings of the Stadium of the Future and heard the heat reduction claims. The chrome reflective quality of it is going to shield heat uh, on the fans, solar heat. And so it's going to reduce that um, solar heat gain for the fans by about 70%. That's a big promise for a massive problem. Many fans stay away early in the season because of the lack of shade. Anyone who has been seated on the east side of the stadium for a one o'clock kickoff on a hot September day knows it's almost unbearable. The Jaguar solution is an ETFE technology for their glass roof. But will it work? And how will they avoid turning their stadium into an even more sweltering greenhouse? For that answer, we went to the University of North Florida. Dr. John Duskowski from the UNF Engineering Department created an experiment with four mini stadiums that all have temperature gauges inside. One is covered with regular glass. One is open air like the Jags current stadium. One has window tinting and the fourth is covered with a material that he says is close to what the Jags roof will be. Basically an aluminum coated uh, acrylic glass. So it gives it a mirror like finish. So it's got a coating that is 0.1% the thickness of a human hair. So it's 100 nanometers, so it's a coating on the glass. The boxes were placed in the sun shortly before 1 p.m. on an 88 degree day. After four minutes, the open air replica stadium reads 100 degrees because it's in direct sunlight. You can see the temperatures just going way up because of it. But what about the Jags glass mini stadium? And this one's still 86. Let's give our mini stadiums some time to bake under the Florida sun. We've let more than 15 minutes elapse. Consider our mini stadiums midway through the first half of a regular season game. The mini stadium with a regular glass roof reads 138 degrees. That's the greenhouse effect. Over here with no glass, so more like the current Jag Stadium, we have 124, 126 degrees Fahrenheit. The inside of the mini stadium with normal window tinting has temps at 130 degrees. And then over here with the um, full reflective uh, mirror-like finish on the top, we have 102 degrees Fahrenheit, so by far our coolest. That's a difference of more than 20 degrees between the current open air model and the custom glass. But how does it work? From the sun, you have the solar energy coming in. What would pass the glass or transmit through would be the energy the um, you know, people in the stadium would feel, right? So the glass itself with the reflective coating reflects most of that solar energy back out into the atmosphere. In this experiment, the replica of the Jags glass was the most effective way to keep temperatures from skyrocketing by reflecting solar rays away from the mini stadium. Simply being in direct sunlight will make you feel warmer than the air temperature. But the more solar rays reflected back into the atmosphere means the more comfortable conditions will be for fans in the stands. Assuming an agreement on the stadium of the future is actually reached between the city and the Jaguars. But that's a story for a different day.